What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. Previously, we went over the best locations to nuke for Flux, which is used to create a lot of valuable things. If you're interested in Flux, I highly suggest checking out the previous episode, because I get really into detail on some of the things that you can do with it, as well as how to find it the fastest. And also not to mention, the stabilized flux, aka the pure flux, is a high trade value item. It is worth, as you can see here on the Reddit Marketplace currently, 50 to 100 and sometimes even 150 caps. Like you could sell literally 5 violet pure flux for 500 caps. Think about it. So much profit out of this. The reason why they are worth so much is because it is a valuable resource to create a lot of valuable things. But yeah, if you're interested in this, I highly suggest to check out the previous episode because we go over the best locations to nuke to obtain flux the fastest, and also what you can do with it. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be answering a question that was asked by a lot of the community on whether or not we are able to survive a nuke while being in the Pulowski's Preservation Shelter. As some of you may know, there is quite a few of them located around in Fallout 76, as well as Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. According to the wiki, the Pulowski Preservation Shelters are coin-operated, one-person Fallout shelters found on street corners throughout the more urban areas of the Capital Wasteland and the Commonwealth, and they are provided by Pulowski Preservation Services. They are advertised as a sensible and affordable alternative to the vaults. People would use these as a last minute resort in the event of a nuclear attack. The shelter itself is firmly secured to the ground and ventilation piping is attached to the rear of the booth. Before I go ahead and test on whether or not we're going to be able to survive this nuke, it says also apparently that the shelters can shield against explosive force, as you can see, but they do not seem to shield against radiation. It could be speculated that the installation of so many booths may be seen as a profiteering scheme in the climate of fear before the Great War began, or they may be simply in disrepair when found by the player character. The shelters only had an air supply with no food or water, so the occupant's survival was dependent on what they were carrying at the time. Whether any occupant survived through use of these shelters is unknown, though many are filled with skeletons or feral ghouls, suggesting the majority of occupants died trapped inside. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. It seems that Pulowski's little preservation shelter seems to be a scam, an awful scam, like that's scandalous. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna launch a nuke right on top of these Pulowski preservation shelters that are located over by the White Springs Station. So that way I won't completely waste a nuke on this experiment to see whether or not we'll survive. If we survive, hey, that's awesome. We can still hit White Springs and take out all the glowing ghouls and not to mention pick a lot of that nuked flora to get that valuable stable flux. And if we die, we can still do the same thing. So yeah, that's the reason why I chose these to nuke and not another area where I know there is multiple at. And as you can see, over here you can find all of these preservation shelters on the back of this semi. I'm not exactly sure where these were being delivered to, but yeah. Now, let's go ahead and get on with this experiment. I'm excited to see what happens. Attention, attention. Launch sequence activated. Launch two will seal in. 30 seconds. All personnel should exit the launch tube immediately. So, it's confirmed. Pulowski is a joke. You're not going to be surviving a nuclear explosion with the preservation shelter. I mean, that would have been pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie, but no, not the case. Something interesting, though, about the preservation shelter, there is a pretty lengthy quest out there over the Mistress of Mystery. Now, within this quest line, you eventually go into the Mistress's headquarters, which is below the Riverside Manor. 
Now eventually, I'm not going to spoil too much, you'll get to use these preservation shelters by the Riverside Manor as a shortcut down to the mistress's headquarters. And by the way, in order to use these as an elevator to get down to the headquarters, you're going to have to progress a little bit into the quest line. So in order to start this quest, in case you don't know, you're going to have to find a mysterious woman's corpse, which there is a few of them around the wasteland. One specifically is over at the Charleston train station, as you can see. She'll be located bending over this railing here. And if you go to loot her corpse, you'll notice that there's a damaged holotape and a worn veil on her. This worn veil is the key into the mistress's headquarters, and the damaged holotape tells you a little bit about the next area that you're going to have to go to, which it hints toward the Riverside Manor. So once you go to that location, you're going to have to find a way into the mistress's headquarters, and then from there, I'm not going to spoil anything else. Let's just say it gets pretty interesting, and I highly suggest doing this quest line. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you found this enjoyable, and if you did, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, if you want, maybe stick around and subscribe to the channel. As always, though, that's totally up to you. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.